Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition. Alrighty, when we left off, uh, I was still very sick. I'm actually recording this after the day that I was relatively okay and starting to feel sick. Now I'm actually sick. My nose is basically stuffed up all to hell. And uh, I will be sniffling a little bit. I do apologize if that uh, detracts from the general experience, but I hope you understand. Um, at the same time, my brain is not at full capacity. Probably because it is due to the fact it is stuffed up with disgusting gick from being sick. So... Uh, if I make stupider decisions than usual, uh, well, <laughs> um, it might be because uh, I'm stupider than usual. Um, there's also the fact that uh, it's going to be difficult as is because of the Iron Man playthrough. Uh, so it'll be it'll be an experience. Uh, one I'm not really looking forward to but either way let us continue uh we were in the middle of surveying the planets around us some of us are with some of them are within our empire's range as we're just this little blip the emperor the empire of Felinae. in the whole galaxy we are just this tiny little blip but it won't be for long but uh yeah this is where we are this is the planets around us and i think if I recall correctly, we had discovered one planet in particular that was a prime looking place to expand to. Yes, it was Yilan 3. Yilan 3 looked very good. Um, the high gravity made the cost of building a little higher, but at the same time, the high quality of materials offsets that by a fuck ton because the cost uh, will only increase well, by 10%, but the amount of minerals we pull out is 25%. That is a significant jump and more than enough to pay for what we're ending up doing on that planet. So it's fine. It's fine as far as I'm concerned. And uh, we'll be moving into uh, minerals and whatnot anyway, uh, further along as we go uh, in ways to harvest them. And we'll be getting a lot of them, that's for sure. Um, looks like in at least the places that we've surveyed, we are looking very good um, in the minerals department. We have a three over here, a four over there, uh, six over here, seven here in Elon. When we colonize the planet, we can do that. Two so far there and six so far here. So... We're looking good in the minerals department. It's mainly going to be energy that'll be a pain in the ass, I think. Energy usually is a pain in the ass. Uh, influence shortly after that. But uh, here's hoping, if I plot it out correctly, we won't have to deal with the influence problem all that much. It'll mainly still be energy being the pain in the ass. But anyway, let us continue on. On a faster speed because I am an impatient bastard I will readily admit this all right now we just kind of have to wait although I can get my construction ship working on getting those mining stations up in operation Ooh. we now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Felindae. Both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalog the life forms we encounter are already underway. Bartosino biologists have urged us to focus our planetary survey efforts on habitable life bearing worlds. A commendable initiative. A mission. Fuck my mouth. <laughs> Situation log updated. Situation System log survey updated. complete. So let's do that for now. The building of the mining station. Research complete. 
because as far as I'm aware, that will also focus on uh, the energy resource there. And then we can pick up the research uh, ones when we pick up uh, Discovery later as a tradition. But uh, for now, uh, the Kildatha system has been fully surveyed. And it looks like Kildatha has eight minerals, two energy, one physics, no, sorry, uh, one society research, and one, uh, pfft, my brain was blanking on that, uh, <laughs> Engineering. There we go. My brain wanted to say energy again, and that's not the right fucking word. What? Are, what are Anywho, completed the research of nanocomposite materials. Fuck yeah. So, um, ceramo metal, ceramo metal materials. That is a word and a half. Um, at the same time, an engineering facility would give us a lot more um, a lot more to work with in regards to uh, possible research uh, that we can no, or rather uh, possible research labs we can put on the planet so uh, I'll, I'll go with that mainly because it's also cheaper in a in a what's the word I'm looking for uh, research points, for lack of a better phrase, than uh, ceramo metal materials, because that's 720. That's actually double what nanomechanics is, so we're going to go with nanomechanics. Uh, everything else has 7 months and 34 months, respectively. Thank you, Dwight Bellflower, for being a spark of genius, because that will make things a lot easier in the future. At least as long as you're alive. <laughs> Anyhow. We shall continue on. My uh, nose will continue to be a bitch. But that's fine. Because we already knew that. Hmm. System survey complete. Satula. Eh. Not great. Two minerals, two physics, and two engineering. That's something. But, uh, not quite enough. It'll be something we pick up, but we aren't going to focus on it. I think the big focus area we will have is, uh, capitalizing on the fact that Yilan is a near-perfect world to start colonization on when we eventually colonize which reminds me um spaceport i can make a colony ship but we are not really there yet we'll wait on that for now um hmm well we do have that engineering space coming up i might as well i mean engineering lab coming up I might as well clear that out for now. And Hu Huang has sensors, sensor echoes rather, have indicated the presence of some kind of unidentified object deep within the atmosphere of this gas giant. Well, it sounds like something to research. We'll clear this out so that way when the engineering lab comes available, we'll put a science lab there and then uh, tilt it towards engineering. Because engineering is currently our lowest, uh, lowest priority. Um, well, lowest priority. Lowest, uh, point gathering, <laughs> for lack of a better phrase, uh, when it comes to research knowledge. So, we'll, uh, focus on that, trying to bring that up a little bit, if nothing else. Research complete. Hell yeah. That was quick. Heritage sites was finished rather quickly. Um, biodiversity studies, genome mapping, and space combat. Um, I want to say we should focus on space combat mainly just so it boosts our uh, naval capacity just a little bit. But, uh, Yeah, yeah, I think, uh, 
think that's what I'll do. I'll go after genome mapping later. Because genome mapping is a good thing to go after. But right now, I think we want to boost our capacity for naval stuff. Uh, rather, uh, <laughs> space navy, I should say. Because naval has another System connotation. Complete. Um, that being your belly button. But anywho. Um, do I have... No, I do not. I ha The Corvette costs a lot right now. Holy shit. Um, the shattered remnants of a cruiser-sized starship can be detected in a decaying orbit deep inside the atmosphere of Diam-3. It appears to have ventured far into the gas giant's atmosphere, perhaps in a desperate attempt to escape a pursuer, only to be crushed by the atmospheric pressure. Ugh. What a way to go. Ugh. The vessel is too deep to be salvaged, but a structural scan of the wreckage has provided us with some interesting engineering data. A remarkable vessel. Hell yeah. Alright. Alright, with that done, we just continue our research. Cleared. Hey, the tile blocker's cleared. Fuck yeah. Um... Yeah, when, when that eventually fully grows, I'll just put a, a farm there. So that way we don't have to worry about food too much more. At least until we find another planet. And then at that point, I mean, it, it's good from there. Anyway, give me a second. My nose is starting to get real bad. Luckily, I had the forethought of putting something on my mic stand that will allow me to deal with the problem. Give me a second. Alright, there we go. A little better. A little better. Keep raise a little. Um. Ooh. Huh. We have detected the presence of a primitive alien civilization on Kasalosh. Kasalosh, rather. In the Congath system that currently seem to be experiencing the equivalent of a renaissance, having recently left the medieval age behind them. Scientific knowledge is spreading rapidly, and the armies of their petty kingdoms are equipped with crude gunpowder-based projectile weapons. We should consider building an observation post above their world to study them more closely. Intriguing! Interesting. We should clear this out, too. Add up another uh, food producing tile. The scientific community on Felon Day is excited to receive the report of intelligent alien life. They may not be capable of space flight, but the aliens of the ISS Grissom, um, I'm assuming that meant the aliens discovered by the ISS Grissom, are quantifiably intelligent, and their society shows all the hallmarks of a moderately advanced culture. Prominent xenologists. <laughs> I can talk, really, I can. Prominent xenologists note that this is an excellent opportunity to study a society perhaps not unlike the ones we have previously only found ancient remains of. System there survey is. complete. There's an idea. Diam. Eh, not too special. Anomaly found. Hmm. This barren and lifeless world is showing signs of once having supported a biosphere on Congath 3A. Is it possible that can be terraformed? We'll see. Eventually, we will be able to do terraforming. Hey! Traditions. Hell yeah. Prosperity. Let's see now. Um... Standard construction templates. Um, Transstellar corporations. Um, these are... There are powerful corporate entities willing to carry a large part of the cost for our colonization efforts, provided that we leave the vetting process of potential colonists to them. Unlocks private colony ship. Um, isn't that essentially what happened in Outer Worlds just a little bit 
huh? Don't you think that would be a little inappropriate for me to do? Yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We won't, we won't take that anyway. Ship cost and building cost reduced by 15%. So that 10%, if I do this anyway, that 10% cost extra on that one planet, nullified. Pretty much nullified entirely. In fact, uh, it is an extra 5% more uh, going back to me. So it, it's like it doesn't even matter. That's a good idea. Plus, it would reduce ship cost. Ship cost can get really expensive, as we're seeing with the Corvettes, as more and more upgrades are thrown onto the ships. So, it's an idea. However, I was also going to go into Discovery to reduce the cost of research stations. Because that can be very useful. Hmm. Hmm. Diplomacy. Expansion is pretty good too. Primarily because uh, when you adopt it, uh, it's nothing really special. You just start with one additional population to. Uh, put them into a certain spot and then have them uh, pretty much immediately bring in that resource. But uh, further on, um, for the purpose of colonizing and building frontier outposts, systems count as being half the regular distance away, and the upkeep is reduced by 50% later on after that. That is a very, very useful thing. Because in a lot of ways... Frontier outposts are really what push the boundaries of your system and your empire. It's not the planets. It's not the planets alone. The frontier outposts do that too. So it's very important to have as many of those as you can possibly muster. And with having... <laughs> with having them count as half the distance away so the influence cost is reduced... And then also having the upkeep reduced by half, it makes it more worthwhile to build further and further along and further, further away. So, while, while the prosperity one is useful, don't get me wrong, eventually I will get it. I probably should get it now, but... I feel that expansion will be useful in the future. Discovery will be useful in the future. And diplomacy will eventually be useful. Harmony has some benefits in and of itself. Harmony has mind and body where leader lifespan is increased by 20 years. That can be very useful. But... Ah... So many choices! Ah. Um, fuck it. There, there will be an immediate and useful benefit now in regards to this. I'll do it. I'll do it. And from here on, I'll focus on the other ones. Ship upkeep reduced by 10%. That can be useful, but it's not as much upkeep produced by 10% for this. Again, useful, not enough to justify it. So, from here on, we'll focus on expansion. Well, I mean, we'll go discovery first, then focus on expansion for a little bit, then focus on diplomacy, and see where it goes from there. It sounds like a plan to me. At least until problems Construction arise. Construction complete. Tile blocker cleared. Savannah world. Huh? Habitability for colonizing species must be at least forty percent. Well, yeah, I knew that. Oh, okay. It, 
got done building the thing. Okay. So, um... Have them build those there. I think I like the idea of that. Our detailed survey of Congath 3A has revealed that it may once have supported life in the distant past. There are significant deposits of frozen water at the polar ice caps and beneath the moon's surface. The existence of valley networks suggests that the water may have once flowed freely. Terraforming this moon would theoretically be possible, but we do not yet possess the technology to accomplish this monumental task within a realistic time frame. We'll be able to be terraformed once the climate restoration technology has been researched. Fascinating. You're right. That's fascinating shit. But for right now, we are focusing on learning about what is around us. System survey complete. That would be Congat. Okay. Congath didn't have much going on for it, did it? Just the, uh... Yeah, just the... Kassalosh. Um... Tundra world, huh? Interesting. We could also be able to see... Oh yeah, we can see the fucking alien species. Look at that. Primitive farm. The species is called... Verzax. Huh. They are xenophiles. Hmm. Interesting. They're repugnant, which, I mean, you know. They ain't pretty. I'll give them that. I'll give them that one. They at least live up to that part. Uh, rapid breeders, natural sociologists, enduring, and tundra preference. So they're also long lived, long lived like us. Natural sociologists. They breed rapidly. Well, you know. <laughs> uh, but they are ugly motherfuckers. So, uh... If we help lift them up, maybe they'll, uh... Maybe they'll be okay. Maybe they'll be okay in the grand scheme of how life will go. For, uh... Yeah, I don't know where I was going. Uh, <laughs> but anywho, we will eventually focus on them, but for now they are a afterthought. We have to focus on building our empire. As always. Ooh. God, give me another second. I gotta blow my nose. Yeesh. Does not stop, does it? Alrighty, again, sorry about that. The Erasian Concordant. Concordat, rather. We have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Brachium III. Ooh, this is the, uh... This is a fallen empire thing. This is cool. From what we have translated so far of their language, we have learned that these aliens called themselves the Erasian Concordant. They were an interstellar power that held sway over this region of the galaxy a little over a million years ago. Ooh, long time ago. They appear to have been six-limbed mammalians, and there are several references to some sort of plague called the Javorian Pox, which swept across their empire with devastating results, possibly leading to their extinction. Interesting. Situation log updated. Well, there we go. Habitable World Survey, that's going to continue. Now, if we can find enough relics of their civilization, it may be possible to pinpoint the location of their home system. Hmm. We'll have to keep that in mind. But for right now, as usual, we are focused on other things. Doing just fine, considering. 
Huh. I wonder. Let's say, should it? Should we get closer Anomaly now? Anomaly found. Ooh. Huh. You briefly detected some unusual energy readings emanating from this planet. It might have been a glitch in our systems, or it could be a sign of something more. Let's research it. Uh, they are at 40. They're almost there, but not quite. Uh, scientist Ahmad Jamshidi is leveled up. Hell yeah. And there we go. I'll keep an eye on that one tile as time goes on. And doing okay here. Eventually, we'll have the administrative AI, which System will help with research complete. feed drastically. The Rana system has been fully surveyed with six minerals. Not too shabby. Not great, but not too shabby. I think ooh. the magnetic field of Brachium 2 experienced a complete reversal while it was being observed by the ISS Grissom. This rare event has interchanged the positions of the planet's magnetic poles. Fortunately, it was all recorded by the sensors of our ship, providing our scientists with a lot of valuable data. Hell yeah. Cool beans. I think if we do put a frontier outpost, it will be in the Kildatha region, for sure, because there's so much more going on there. We're going to build a uh, outpost first before anything else. That's what we're going to do. The added benefit, it will also hit Diam. Oh. There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization on this inhospitable rock. Hell yeah. It will also hit Diam when we have the uh, frontier outpost here so at the same time we'll be able to get stuff from diam as well rana not so much that'll be eventually but not so much right now i kind of don't want to add to our fleet size right now Research even though it complete. is cheaper now because uh, I have so many things I need to focus the minerals on, at least until I have like an overflowing amount of them coming in. There's almost no reason for me to focus on building up the fleet for right now. There we go. That was the anomaly they're currently researching. An administrative AI has been completed. Organizational circuitry rerouting academic fervor. Hell yeah. Cool shit. Hey, a solar panel network. That way I don't have to worry so much about energy. Because then I can just attach them to uh, our spaceports. Bring in a little energy that way. Debris from what must have been a massive orbital installation has been discovered on Brachium 4A. Artifacts recovered amongst the debris have confirmed that the space, station, the space station served as the headquarters of the Eurasian... My nose keeps uh, making it hard to say these words. <laughs> the headquarters of the Eurasian Concordance Authority of Disease Control some 1.2 million years ago. The Eurasians were far more susceptible to alien diseases than most known species and the budget of their public health institute nearly rivaled that of their military. Despite this, surviving records show that their entire species perished from the Javorian pox. Interesting. Situation log updated. Hmm. Nope, that wasn't the button I wanted to hit. Situation log updated, huh? Um, that means I can have someone, oh, look at the orbital station, but I do not have anyone who's skill five or higher. Even though there is no higher, because five is as high as it goes. But that's placeholder, because some of them can be two, three, four. 
one science ship in orbit. I'll need to wait on the orbital station. I'll need to wait at least until I get a scientist up to level 5. It's unfortunate, but that's how it goes. In the meantime, that'll be uh, something that they're doing. Alrighty. And, uh, Construction complete. Ooh. Mining station is completed. Well, the last mining station, so that means it's just sitting there doing fuck all. Um. Let's just let's get the let's get the frontier outpost out of the way. It's probably for the best. And it'll be the first thing that gets the cost dropped in half System when we get to that complete. point. Alright. Brachium uh, system has been fully surveyed. Good. I'm going to drink my uh, tea real found. quick. Okay. Scans indicate the presence of a foreign, alien-made object on one of Zaffa 5A's many frozen mountaintops. Let's research it! Let's see what that bitch is! And it just struck me. I can add things to the Corvette. Because I can add some armor now. Um. <laughs> it's not a lot. It's not a lot of armor there. But, uh. Considering how much power will help out, I'd rather have it set up this way. Um. Save for now. We'll eventually work on getting newer weapons and upgrading our current weapon systems uh, in a little bit. But for now, this will be fine. Alrighty. Which means I actually have to have them upgrade now. There we go. Ships upgraded. There. Better. Hmm. The ISS Von Braun has recovered an elongated metal box from the surface of Zaffa 5A. Clusters of small perforations on five sides lead science officer Hu Huang to believe it is not a container, but some sort of aerosol dispersal device. Initial tests seem to confirm their suspicions as trace aromatics still emanate from the object. A special project has been issued to confirm whether this might be an information-carrying device constructed by some alien race communicating primarily through the secretion and reception of atmosphere-borne chemical compounds. Smells. Situation log malodorous. updated. I, I just realized I read that. It's malodorous. Ah, oh, boy. Alright. Olfactory study. Three or more? There is someone who has three or more. In fact, Hu Huang should have three or more. Uh, let's see. Look at... There? No. There we go. Um... Let's do research the project, and then finish up... Whoops, did it. Um... Research... That's not what I wanted. Okay. Research projects in the system. Survey the system after that. Survey this system after that. Survey this one after that. That one. That one. That one. This one. This one. Uh. Fuck. <laughs> kind of want to go around the whole thing. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. Go after this. 
this, and then from there on, I'll see where we go. Sounds good to me. Alrighty. Research complete. Search complete. Hell yeah. Special project complete. Whoa. The box is indeed a document of a sort. Science officer Hu Huang admits that they have been hoping for a historical record or some kind, some other kind of codex significance to whatever culture left it behind, but they were disappointed. The true nature of the aromatic box seems to be a collection of fairly short narratives which, going by the rapid changes in odor towards the end of each sequence, are intended to surprise or be interpreted as comedic. The techniques used to store and reproduce specific smells is of some interest, but the tales it tells are not. The crew of the ISS Von Braun are left with an, the uncomfortable feeling that they have unwittingly become intimately familiar with what certain gaseous byproducts of alien digestion smell like. However, Hu Huang is unwilling to speculate as to why the box was dumped on this frozen hellscape of a planet. Interesting. Interesting development of that whole thing. Also, apparently. Nano mechanics is finished. Hell yeah. Um geothermal fracking. Improved spaceport. And ion thrusters. Hmm. Ion thrusters are a component which would be helpful same time an improved spaceport would be helpful in and of itself but i'm gonna go with ion thrusters because they will be more helpful uh as a component to upgrade uh and later on we can focus on an improved spaceport all right we continue on waiting for the next thing to pop up which when you have science ships going every which way will eventually happen. Where is the other ship? In, uh, Hildem. I think that's Hildem. Yeah, that's the name. Hildem. Or rather, Hicklum. Huh. System survey complete. I should have looked to my right instead of trying to read it from the fucking map. Uh, that's what I get. That's what I get when I'm stupid as fuck. Wah, wah, wah. I'm an idiot. Alrighty. System survey complete. And the Hicklum system has been fully surveyed, and it has fuck all. Okay. Good to know. Uh, oh, shit. I completely did not pay attention like I said I would. My bad. Put that there. Um, basic science lab. No, engineering facility would not help it in the slightest. This is more geared towards... Um, I think that's society. So that would be more of a biodiversity lab uh, location than anything else. That said, move this over here. When it eventually grows up, and if I pay attention enough, I will be putting an energy, energy, engineering, God damn it, brain, uh, place right there. Works for me. All right. And the fleet is okay. Huh. I can't do any modules yet. I want to do a module, but at the same time, I know I can't. God damn it. The uh, orbital solar array hasn't been fully researched yet. Sometimes this is all it is, just waiting for something to happen. At least when you have the science ships, something will eventually happen. Usually. 
Sometimes you say that, and then nothing System happens. survey complete. Other than a system survey mm -hmm. completed. And it has three energy, but that's all it's got going for it. Research complete. Hey, research is completed on space combat. Fuck yeah. Um, reactive formations, no. Farming subsidies and hydroponics farm level two. Uh, hydroponics techniques can be further developed by creating farms with unique atmospheres, simulating different ecosystems. This allows for the production of food with higher levels of nutrients. Hmm. While useful, not necessarily something I need right now. Uh, galactic ambitions, though. Reduces the seed planet and seed frontier outpost war cost, war demand cost, and adds a border range of 20%, which means the borders are 20% wider, so they reach 20% farther, which is kind of good. So, I'm going to go for that. Sounds good to me. Construction complete. Hell yeah! Construction done. Whoa. Welp. Now I don't have a choice in the matter. Now I have to expand my fleet. Fuck. <laughs> Naval intelligence has reported several attacks on civilian shipping in our space within the last several months. Perpetrators appear to be deserters and other renegade elements from Felende. These criminals have put together a makeshift space fleet out of heavily modified civilian hulls, and they now call themselves the Storm Lords. Okay, that's fucking cool. <laughs> that's fucking cool, man. The Storm Lords. Fucking cool as shit, man. Although crude, their vessels are a clear threat that cannot be ignored. Could, could I just have them join me? Could I just convince them to not be... Uh, raider bastards and just join, <laughs> join with me and be like cool guys can <laughs> please because her name is cool man her name is cool fuck man I wish I came up with it <laughs> storm lords shit man fucking cool alright uh, have them focus on mining station maybe not here mm, you know what I'll have him wait a little bit. I'll have this come back to Felende. And uh, in the meantime, we'll focus on building up the fleet. There we go. Three more ships. Anomaly found. Ooh. The atmospheric patterns of Bythia III are highly atypical for a gas giant of modern, modest size. Or rather, Bithia. Bithia? Bithia? I, it doesn't matter. I'm the one reading this motherfucking shit. I can say it however the fuck I want. <laughs> it's my fucking game, God damn it. Alright, let's research it. Construction complete. Construction completed. Hell yeah. That means we got a little more food coming in, which is nice. Yeah, we're getting up to five there. That's cool. Oh. Oh. Revealed to be a barren planet. And Hu Huang has gained 200 experience. What we had assumed was an abnormally small gas giant is, in fact, not. Beneath a deceptive cover, cover of thick dust swirling in the upper atmosphere lies a regular planet. A barren planet, but a planet, nonetheless. This has proven quite embarrassing to the astronomical community on Felende. Well, I mean, at the same time, this is kind of cool. It proves that sometimes those gas giants ain't really gas giants. It's kind of cool thing. All right, building up the fleet. And in the 
meantime, see if those bastards will come into our space. Yep. Yeah, they did. Question is, Station where will they go under from there? You sons of bitches. Anomaly found. Oh, oh, oh. 20%. That's not good. Uh, impressive structures litter Menkar 3A surface, practically begging for some archaeological work. Uh, I don't, I don't like the feel of 20%. Maybe if it was 10%. Maybe if it was 10%. But uh, right now, I'm just going to leave it. Sons of bitches. Going after my fucking... Construction complete. Going after my mining outpost. Sons of bitches. System survey yeah, complete. there we go. Going to attack the pirate fleet. That's all I want you to do. Alright. There we go. Those are completed. Scientist Hu Huang has leveled up. Hell yeah. Okay. Mining station lost. Oh, you think you're gonna get away from this? Oh, you think you're gonna get away from this? You little shits. You little fucking shits. Get back here. You fucking bastards. You little fucking bastards. Alright. Gonna have him... Start building there. Fucking sons of bitches. System survey Make him complete. head over here. That's probably where they ran off to, the Unux system. Because otherwise they'd be in our sensor range. Recent sensor sweep of the Wanabis system. Wanambis system. Admiral Arahi Swami has learned how to deploy her units to maximize their sensor range. Few fleet commanders possess a skill to carry out such complex maneuvers. Good for her! Where the fuck? Where the fuck did they go? Sons of bitches. Those sons of bitches. Alright. Well, while I'm searching for them right now, um, I realize that we are over time. So, uh, for right now, I might as well end the episode. And I'm just going to bring the fleet back because this is starting to become a wild goose chase. Alright. Just gonna end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos. If you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see y'all in the next episode. I stream on Twitch from 1.30 p.m. on Wednesdays and Thursdays to whenever I feel like stopping. I uh, hope you guys come in. Uh, it's probably not going to happen. Um, uh, Wednesday, uh, which is today, I feel bad, I feel like shit, um, or Thursday, I probably won't be too much better, but I may try and swing something for Friday, and you know, you never know, I might be able to do something, uh, I'll probably have to actually call out sick, but I'll try, I'll try and do something on Friday, so, uh, it'll probably at the, be at the same time, though, at, uh, 1.30 p.m., uh, Pacific Standard Time, anyway, this has been me, one the only, Stray Cat, playing games and 
trying to build our empire, which we've managed to get a little expansion going, but now we have pirate fleets, which are going to be a pain in our ass. At the same time, they're named the Storm Lords, so I can't really be too angry at them. They're kind of cool. <laughs> For you. 